Hi everyone, welcome back again. Uh, today we're going to be doing all sorts today. You can tell it's really cheap and flimsy, so you get what you pay for, but for less than 40 quid. So we lift this over last night, so I to get four of us, one in each corner, lift it up and put it over the top. And I come in here yesterday and I thought, why aren't these feeding aggressively as these ones and these ones? I think it's about time now we get this up and running. So we're going to get outside. Hi everyone, welcome back again. Uh, today we're going to be doing all sorts today. We're going to be running around doing bits, checking on things and stuff like that early. And the main thing I want to do today is get me drum, get that up and running. Well, get it outside and make sure it's up and running. Make sure it's all working. It's on pump fed, you see. So I've got to sort it out, turn it to gravity fed. I'm hoping it's straightforward. I don't know yet. So I've watched loads of videos, but I can't find nothing around turning it from pump fed to gravity fed. But I don't know, I'm going to keep looking into it, watch a few more videos. I'll probably have to read the instructions. I never read instructions, but I think I'll start doing that. So we'll download uh, the booklet and everything, the instructions of it all. And see if it's straightforward, see if we need any more bits or anything like that for it. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can get it up and running. Hopefully the same things do it. So it looks like it's the same ones. Everyone's on YouTube and that. I looked on there and they're all the same sort of the probes, the float switch and everything's the same. So I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But we're doing other bits today. Walking around, doing bits. And I've got a new thing to put over me. Green vat outside as well. So I've got to get it up and sort it out and hopefully stop this frosting from coming as well, you see. Hopefully it doesn't freeze again as bad as it did the other week. So it really froze the other week and open. it's not that bad. And get it up, get it covered and hopefully stop the frost. And there we go, really. Right, I'll turn you around and I'll show you bits and bobs back into the next couple of days and what I'm doing. And we go from there. So like a lot of people's ponds, frozen up the other week. So this one I did as well. It froze up everywhere. So it's a small gap here. I see these icicles all across there. That was frozen solid. It's only a good two inches thick, two, three inches thick in places. It's in a small gap here, across this bit. It's then I wrapped everything up. Tempest never froze. We were good with that. But that was frozen solid. Pipes are freezing up here. Wrapped all them up. And I've seen some on uh, eBay. So I thought, right, I'll order it. It was cheap enough. This is just the day after the big freeze. Ordered it then. It's come today. So I thought, right. I need to get something done with this. Stop it freezing again. It's gonna have a big freeze again next couple of weeks, they're saying. Hopefully not as bad as that one. But if I can keep a bit of heat in here, makes sense. Keep these healthy. As you can see now, all swimming around, all healthy in there, living life. So I thought, right, let's get it up. Stop it freezing again. So I'll go in the shed now and show you exactly what I've got. Then hopefully I can get up today stop this freezing in a few weeks time when we have that uh, big freeze again but hopefully we don't but we'll see how we go so it is a cheap greenhouse so you put it all together it's only a cheapy one so they use the average about under quid 99 quid i think they are using in the summer obviously we've been in the winter now it's on offer at 39.99 so i thought right i may as well grab it for that sort of money so you can buy a piece of polycarb that goes over top of it for more than that so i thought put a greenhouse over it get a bit of sun on it eat it up Keeps me dry when I'm underneath there, so why not? So it is four and a half meters by two meters. That's what it's saying on there, but obviously it's in feet. So it's 15 foot by seven foot by seven foot. So I'm gonna put it all together. It is only a cheapy one, but it doesn't matter. If it lasts for a year, it doesn't matter, but I'll take it down again. I'll see through the summertime, which you don't need it, but may leave it up, might get a bit more heat in there. I don't know. But so I'm gonna start putting it together in a minute. I'll take it outside. Have a look, put it together, put it over top of that uh, green vat, and then jobs are good in. And hopefully, we'll stop that big freeze again, what happened the other week. Put it all together now. So just got to put the top over. So just waiting for someone to come back to give me a lift. Well, put the top over and give me a lift up and over across there. Move some bits out of the way. So I have to build it over the table and stuff. So it's all built up now. So you can tell it's, you get what you pay for. So it's supposed to be under quid. Give less than 40 quid for it, so that's free delivery as well. So it cost you 10 quid delivery, wouldn't it? I mean, it's all free delivery, 39.99, free delivery. You'll see in a minute when the top's over, saying 40 quid. Less than that, you can't moan. You say it's cheap and flimsy. The one that I had before, not last year before, it did take off over to next door. But we got that, because it's a, like 80, 90 mile an hour's winds. But this time, I'm going to put some sleepers down the side and across the front, or blocks or anything just to hold the top of it down and stop it going over. 
But so if it goes over, it goes over again. Never mind. The same for 40 quid. It keeps the frost off, stops that freezing as much, keeps up a few degrees extra. The same. This pond here is I think it's 11, 12 degrees, and this one's only like nine, 10 degrees max. So it's always got a couple of degrees difference. This one's always colder, and that one's warmer because it's getting more sun. But when this is over, hopefully when the sun comes out, it'll really make it a lot warmer in there. So other than that, I kind of felt it. Let's wait for someone to come back now. Put the top over, give a lift over there, put it over there, fix it all down. Happy with that. And jobs are good. Un. So we lift this over last night. So I managed to get four of us, one in each corner, lift it up and put it over the top. It's all built up. But saying it's not, the cover on it itself is not as good as a four. It's only a cheaper cover. So it's flimsy. Let me open it up. So it can go in there. As you can see along the bottom, it had no ties. Of course, see, obviously it's got a tie there. A tie all the way across and at the top. That's all it's got. There's no ties anywhere else. That's it, as far as it goes down. There's nothing at all at the bottom. So what I'm about to do is get some like ribbon and tie it around there. I'll show you now what I did. I'll see, put the scissors in, put an hole through. Same again at the bottom, coming through, as I've shown you. On another video that I've done. Pulled it through, tightened it all up, and there we go. So that's how it looks like now. Let's pull it all nice and tight, all through. The same way across there, stop the wind, get underneath and pull it off. As you can see now, there's a bit of wind today. It's good 20 mile an hour wind today, 25 mile an hour. I'm shaking it about. So I'm not 100%, this will not fly off. Just got myself wet through, whacking it. Conversation on here. So other than that, 39 dollars 40 quid, does the job. It's up there, I'm over the moon with that really. So it's probably ended up taking off. So it will end up taking off, but uh, I'm going to put something in the corners. Just a bit of weight on each corner to hold it down. Other than that, that'll do me for that. I was saying that was 11 something on it in there. It's about 13 degrees. The main pond is 9 degrees, 8.9. So it's 2 degrees difference again from there to there. So I kind of call it really. Other than that, they're doing cracking. Still want a little bit of food. Big Hector coming up. It's a new one a bit, but he had a bit this morning, so we'll be giving no more now. But other than that, they're happy. So I can't wait to get it done eventually. One day, I will go all the way across there. So it'll work out about 9,000 gallon on it all. So we'll cover it up and put another reef across here, and this will be the seating area. But that's future plans a couple of years down the line. Save up a bit of money first. Well, a lot of money. There's a lot of work in that. I'm doing everything myself, so it's just literally cost of materials, really. So I'm going to put my new filter in, in there. I'm going to work all that out next couple of days, and hopefully, we can get it in for next weekend. This weekend, I don't know. So I'm going to work all that out in there. So I'm coming here yesterday, and I thought, why aren't these feeding aggressively as these ones and these ones? I thought, what's wrong with it? Obviously, they've not been feeding aggressively for the last uh, month and a half, two months. They've been putting size on. So they have been putting some decent size on, but not a lot. So a lot of them haven't put size on. The Sheik Goy and the Easter Showers, they've been putting a bit of size on because they're a lot younger fish and they afford it. As you can see, Easter Showers are getting massive now to what they were. They're not huge. They should have a lot more size than what uh, they have been growing. But I thought, what's up with them? So the temperature gauge is knackered. So it's not been looking at every day. I can look at this one over here. That's showing 19.4, which would be just over 20 degrees. So you know, it's a degree or so out. So I thought, what's going on? And this one is only coming up. Yesterday, this was, I've obviously turned the heater back on now. So it's coming up 16.4 now. Absolutely crazy. So that's about 17.4, just a degree or so out on this as well. But that was coming up 14 yesterday. So it's like 15 degrees. So no wonder they're not putting any major size on. Obviously they've been feeding what they, what they can, and that's it. But now the heat has started to be going back up. I'll put it up a good degree every couple of days, and it should start smashing their size on again. It's crazy, because these ones here already, these are here for a couple of weeks in here. You can't see them after the bubbles. So they've been a couple of weeks in there, and these ones just mad, keep growing and growing. I do want to turn the temperature up on these, but I can't do much, obviously. I don't want to lose the tantrum spots and the tantrums, but 
can see it already, that tantra there is a little light compared to that one. So we may lose that one. I don't want to, but it's a keep below 20 degrees and told. And hopefully, you get a couple of nice tantrums out of them. But these are packed sizing already in here. You can't see into the double sorry. So we'll get a closer look again a month or so time. I'll put measure up. But these, just start packing the size on again now. So they have a bit of size on. Not major size, but there we go. So I've just changed the cartridge in the big blue as well. So in your first bit as it comes through. On there, but you can see, definitely does its job. Difference to that one, isn't it? Big difference. So that's been done. All changed over. Straightforward job. So I bought a load when Andy Finch is in the Birmingham show. It's in me good deal. They're about five or six of them. So we'll be changing them a lot longer. Uh, a lot more, should I say. Than they usually do, because I left it uh, too long, this one. Let's see, it's rammy. So it'll be a couple of months, month, whatever. I'll change it over to a new one. And then hopefully, it doesn't look like that in the future. But that's the filter, what is going in my room. So that hopefully, what, like I said to you, I wanted to get it done for this weekend. But I don't know. So I'm going to take it outside in a bit. I'm going to check it all out. I'm saying I've got a cap on that end already. So the middle of the stuff out of the way, crap out of the way. And here's a cap on this end. It's got one outlet on there. Well, two outlets. One's capped off. So I don't need another cap for that end. I've only got one inlet. And it's got three inlets on this. So I do need one more cap. So I'll knit down screw fix tool station. About eight quid. Got another cap for that. But outside I've got all sorts of boots and all sorts. I found everything like so. Hopefully I'm all right with that. But I'll definitely need to take this outside. Need to work it out. I was inside here. So it was like brand spanking new when it come. It's only scratched everywhere now. So I'll polish up a bit, but there's a lot of scratching it now. But part of pond keeping. It was like brand spanking new when it come. As you can see, even the stickers, everything the bang on. So the amalgam goes. Lift it up. There's the amalgam transformer. It's got fiberglass everywhere, look. So it's been here for a long time. Dust everywhere over it. But I do need to get it fitted. That's the bio system. That's the drum. So I'll see inlets down there coming through. This is your chamber where it all sits, so the crap will muck coming across into your drum underneath, you'll say, underneath there. The Malga sits under there, so hopefully keep the drum nice and clean as well. And there's your pump, your clean water pump for your spray bar. But I've got to work out this. So obviously these are all the sensors and all sorts in here. But we'll take it outside and have a good look at it in a bit in the daylight. Other than that. That definitely needs sorting out because obviously that was pump fed, but I need to do it gravity fed, you see. So that needs moving in here on this side here somewhere or wherever it's going to sit over this side. I don't know, don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'll take it outside, work it all out. So I've got loads of bits and bobs for it, so I'm hoping I've got everything here. I've still got all these fittings here in CDBD, all the pipe work and stuff, that's all here because I didn't use a lot of it. So I'm hoping I've got, well, I should have plenty. Of that that's another pump off a, a drum outside another day for this pond in here where i'm at, am now there's crap just everywhere so i need to get it all sorted for spring and get this one started in here but other than that one job at a time i want to fit that this weekend so i'll take it outside in a bit and have a good nosey out and go from there so we've got loads of bits and pieces loads of elbows so i've got this valve but i won't be using that i've only got the big sweet ones there's a tight what tight one elbow another tight one straights on the other nexus we've got a reducer on that as well from four down to uh, two for my pump so i think we should be all right i think we have got everything hopefully we don't know as you can see it's a big old drum so it's thirty thousand liters it takes well it can take up to the pond so it's plenty for this one so then we've got the drum well, got the three inlets coming in. It's going to be capping two of them off. So it's got to get a cap for this one here now. So I can get the water in, try it, and fix all this bit. So I'm going to put that out there, on there, just for now. So I can get some water in it, like I was saying. Cut that one off. Same on this side. Just get that off for now. Cap it off. I'll put a pipe on there. So that's where it's coming in. You see, you can see it's been used. I'm getting down here. You can see the bit of grud at the back. So that has been used definitely second hand. But saying it's like brand new still when it first come. But so I need to work out this here now. 
So I'll turn it round. I'm not sure how the sensors work on this one, you see. That's obviously a float switch. The sensor there, but said so I will watch a video before connect it properly. Got to have a play around in a minute. Well, next that couple of hours or so, it's going dark now. Got to get it filled up, work it out, and go from there. But so in a minute ago as well, I thought, oh crap, what am I going to do? Then I realised I've got a big pack of rubbers, rubber seals, because the rubber is missing. I can't do it now. The rubber is missing off here. I'll show you now in a quick video. And you see the rubber's missing off there. There's none on it. So I've just put it back on. Well, put one on out of the tub. Put it on there and screwed it up. So luckily, I had this in my shed. What I've had for years. All different rubbers. So there's a the drum system. It's a drum coming free. In here, we've got everything here. So that's the LG. Amalga transformer. So we've only got a 30 air pump in here. So I'm going to see what it looks like when all the media's in. So I might have to upgrade that, I think. Or just come off the other system that I've got in there and send it off. Because I think that's going to be too small. But I could use that for something else, maybe. I don't know. But I think it's too small for that. So we've got the motor for the drum. Turns the drum. So I've had it tested before when I got it a couple of years ago. The drum and everything's turning. This wants to kick in. Obviously, there's no water. You can see the pump kicking in. Turned it off quick and it's working. That air pump was working. That was all that. The only thing I haven't tried is the amalga. We don't know, we'll see when we get it all connected up. It's got plenty of wires and all that. I see the wires a bit dirty, it must have been outside in the crap or something. So, all cleaned up. But other than that, it's like brand new. It's a big old drum, it'll do perfect for that. So, what I'll do, start getting some water in a minute. Well, I'll get some caps on first, get some water in, work it out, change these round, and hopefully, it'll work straight forward. If not, watch a few videos. So it's got gravity on now, on that bit. So I'm hoping it's just turn it around. That should be it really. And so I've got to move that to here, I think, on there. But I'll give it a go and I'll get back to you. As soon as I know any more. So I did last night get it up and running. I'm over the moon with this now. Really over the moon with it. I didn't think it was going to be as straightforward as it was. Lots of instructions, like everyone's supposed to, but. I don't always do, it's like doing things myself, but lots of instructions, it's nice, straightforward. Obviously the float switch down there, that's the off switch, the safety switch, that one, the bottom. Obviously these are the two probes, they're over this side now. So they were here as a pump fed, and it's straightforward. Nobody tells you this, but it's simple as anything. Obviously there's nothing on YouTube, anything found on there, just lots of instructions, and there it was. Simple little thing. I see it in here, look at the top there, see them switches? Obviously, number one, that was up. And number three and four were down, and number two was down. All you've got to do is push number one down, push number two up, and that changes it to gravity fed. That's all it is. No difference. Wires, everything's the same. All the same in there. Everything's connected to the same. Obviously, I've had to pull the wires through to get them through here, around there, and across into here. So, other than that, it's absolutely perfect. So just filling it up now. Well, you can hear it coming out of the water now. So stop your set now. I'm just going to close this up. Back up here. Turn it on. And show you it all working. Other than that, I'm over the moon with that now. Hopefully get it fitted. So I'm going to put the caps on this end. Let's put this pipe up here so I can tip some water out in a minute. And show you the probe's working. So on this end, let's put some caps on for now. So just here, just to test it. I was it peeing down yesterday. So we thought, right. Put the lid, well last night I should say, put underneath here, test underneath here. I was going to test up there. I thought, right, I'll test it here while I'm here now. But what we'll do now, well, it's straightforward, should I say, sorry. The probes are there, all as it was inside this box. Change number one and two, change them over. Hit the switches and that's it. So these probes were here, this side, same with that uh, safety switch down there. That's the safety one, once that drops down, it cuts it all off and does it keep pumping and pumping and pumping the water out and wasting all your pond water and stuff. But other than that, straight forward in there, them two switches, change over, job's a good one. Right, I'll press manual. And there we are, over the moon with that. It's all working. Let's so put some force out as well, look at that for cleaning. That is some force that is. So I think it's about 12 seconds somewhere there, it stops.
And there we go. It's done a full rotation on the drum. Chucked all the water out. There's quite a bit of water going out there. Let's say in the probes, what they'll do, I'll drop a little bit of water out of here. I'll get back to you when the water level's nearly gone there. I'll hopefully start recording again. All right, water's emptying now out of there. And the probes are getting quite close to the level of the water coming down. In a second. And there we go. It all works. I'm well happy now. I'm well happy with that. If we drop down the sensor, come down, and kicked on. But it won't turn off now, so I'll have to stop it myself. Obviously, the water cannot fill back up again. We've got no water going back in. So that's going to keep going and keep going. But as soon as I put some water back in, that'll stop now. And we're well happy. Turn it off. I'm saying that won't stop. Obviously, it's not going to get back to level on the water. I've got wet feet now. I need to put my wellies on today. There's absolutely gushing of water out there. It's absolutely gushing of water. So I'm well happy with that. And now, hopefully, next couple of days, we can get this fitted on this, through that wall there, take the Nexus out, and get it started. So I say there's a lot of wires up and tidy up and stuff inside here. But other than that, get these nice and straight and get it fitted over the beam of it. Same well happy with that drum now. So hopefully we get it fitted in the next few days. It'll be perfect to get it bob on. All been tested now, all working, well happy. Just get some bits and pieces, make sure I've got it from first. But next couple of days, tomorrow maybe, in there, get it connected up. Or I don't know, I might even start it today, see how it goes. I think that's it for this one anyway. So hopefully we do get a big freeze again that there will not freeze over again like it did last time but if we get some wind that'll be taken off but sake of 40 quid less than 40 quid that's uh, done the job that'll do the job keep that wind off so it's a wind chill up mostly gets it across the water obviously this one didn't freeze it was cold went down to two degrees so there's no ice or nothing on this obviously we've got the wind breakers well jump guards as a wind breaker it stops these coming over but they're well happy in there so there's not one of them on the bottom in a minute they're all up. The shoes on the bottom earlier. This one, which is up now. I wanted some food by the looks of it, but they've had a bit this morning, so I don't give them any more. But other than that, well happy with this drum. Hopefully, well, I might even start today yet. I don't know. It's a nice day for it. It's next morning, so hopefully we can get stuck into it and get it in. Make sure I've got all the bits in there from first. But that's it for this one, really. So I do appreciate it. So if you haven't subscribed to us, if you don't mind subscribing to us, those that will subscribe, thank you very much and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.